Hello everyone, I've been looking online trying to find out how to connect a uh, <clears throat> sub and amp to a 2015 or 16 Vauxhall Corsa. Uh, I found a way where a guy was stripping out all these plastic bits here just to connect to the, to the wires behind the, the actual head unit. But I found a much clever way. Uh, first of all, the power, uh, I didn't take it straight to, from the battery, I took it from the fuse box which is basically inside here. If you take this shit out, you see there is a um, red and green which comes straight from battery. This one, the yellow one, goes into my actual amp. The blue one, it's the remote. Uh, I connected it to a um, cigarette lighter or just to unused fuse, which works perfectly. And um, hold on, let me put it back securely. for later then I um, I took all the wires through here I mean under this plastic bit all the way down you actually can see two wires over there that's the ram and the power then um, I uh, <coughs> opened the rear door I mean the the card which is basically between I mean this post here I took all the plastic out and um, from there you can see on this side I mean on the passenger side on the near side uh, near side uh, you can see two wires like green and uh, green with a black uh, stripe on it that's plus and minus for the rear speakers on the other side, I mean on the driver side, on the off side of the car, uh, same in here. Well, look, see, you can still see the. Okay. Um, if you take this plastic off, I mean basically this bit here, you'll find a white and a blue of a stripe. Those two eyes which are going into the rear, rear door and. Um, also, those ones are the uh, wires which go to the rear speakers. Uh, I connected an um, active Kenwood uh, mini under seat um, subwoofer with uh, amp installed as well. Uh, I decided to put it over here, which is right under the passenger seat. Well, now it's switched off. I mean, not completely off, but as you may have seen from the remote controller, it's, I mean, you, you can uh, switch it to, I mean, it's from minimum to maximum. I'm gonna turn up the volume a bit. Right now, it's completely off. Here the 
like we did uh, the same, almost the same video about the wiring and all this stuff. I mean, all the wires are still loose. I mean, I didn't didn't secure them properly as uh, I've just finished the installing. That guy said that it took it took him like to take all this plastic bit out. He snapped it here and there. So uh, I mean. You can risk it and do it that way, but I would prefer to do it this way. You just have to be uh, more accurate, let's say, and when you when you choose the um, the wires to connect to. Other than that, it's simple as nothing. Well, yesterday I've started it because, well, I didn't have that much time. Yesterday I started it uh, about 12 and at half past one all the power wires from there were all connected the only thing that um, was stopping me was to connect to the ground because i didn't have the right uh, right tools for the right bolt to unbolt it and connect it but i've done it this morning and uh, yeah pretty much that's that's all well and Luckily, on Corsos, we have this shelf here. Done. Turn the bass. Turn the volume. By the way, you get a nice massage from those ones. 